Hello, my name is Jerry Howard, and I am the professor of civil engineering technology at Big Sandy Community and Technical College. And I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you all about this wonderful program that we have. Now, uh, civil engineering technology, a lot of people probably don't know what that means. Civil engineering, a good definition of civil engineering technology would actually be designing, constructing, and maintaining infrastructure. And that takes us to another word, infrastructure. What does that mean? Well, infrastructure is fundamentally the structure and systems that serve a community. So if you think about that, a structure is pretty easy. Now a structure, it could be a residential house, it could be a grocery store, it could be the gas station or a school. We're gonna use this for an example, the school. So we have a school sitting here. Now, we've got to design this school We've got to oversee its construction and also the maintenance of it to make sure that it withstands the test of time and then it's, that it survives for longevity. Well, this school is here, but we have to also have systems for this school. We have to have access for this school. So to get access to this school, what is one thing you have to have? You have to have systems, a road system. So we're gonna actually take and design the road that's going to go to the school, and in that design, you've got to have right-of-ways. Then you, after you get the right-of-ways and get all that cleared, you've got to go through and you've got to excavate. You've got to go through and clear-cut and get the roads ready for its asphalt and put all that down. And then you've got to maintain it. So maintaining this is what's going to, again, the longevity of this road so that we can use it to have access for this school. Another good example for this school, as far as the structure, is going to be like electricity, we have to have electricity, that's another system. Now it is a utility, and utilities fall in line with this. So if you've got electricity over here at the powerhouse, the power plant, I've gotta get electricity from here to here to the school. Again, you've gotta go through and design, and then you've got to go through and you've got to construct, and then we got to maintain that to keep that going to the school and keep it functioning. So that is some of the things you're going to do as a civil engineer technologist. You're going to design, you're going to oversee construction and maintenance to have whatever it is, the structure and this infrastructure to keep going. So we're very proud of our program. And one good thing about what we do is we let industry drive the program. So what that means is we let them tell us what we need to teach that way, whenever you graduate, you can hit the ground running and be a major asset to the company. So in that, we're getting ready to tell you a little bit about our program. Now, we just revised this program, and it's just brand new this year. Now, this program's been a while, around for a while, but this is all the new revisions. So first, we're going to start out. CET is Civil Engineering Technology. We have a core. And then we're going to have two paths that you can go down. The core is what we're going to talk about first, and that's what all the students are going to take. And inside of this core, you're going to take surveying, basic surveying. You're going to learn how to survey and grab and understand how to gather uh, surveying data. You're going to take that data, and then you're going to put it onto uh, computer-aided drafting software where we can design. And then after that, we're going to teach you how to do hydrology and drainage. We're going to teach you about civil engineering materials that are going to be like concrete, asphalt, also uh, soils. So, and we're also going to do the testing on these things just to see if they meet the strengths that they need to. We're also going to get into structural analysis. You're going to do a lot of calculations with that, how much load this beam can handle, things of that sort. And you're also going to get into GIS, Geographic Information Systems, we're going to get into that, 3D scanning, some really cool stuff. Now we're going to go down the paths. Now, we have one path that's a transportation path, and then one path that's going to be the design path. And these are just going to focus you in on the areas of where you might want to go to. Now, the transportation path is going to set you up for the system, the road system we talked about earlier. It's going to get you prepared for jobs in that road system. And inside of that, we work with all kinds of industry, especially Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, on this one. 
And they do provide us with scholarships, and that's one thing that you might be interested in applying for if you're interested in this program. But anyhow, besides that, they come to us and said, hey, we need these technologists to also have a CDL license. So we incorporated that into this program on that track so that you can take those courses to get your CDL. Now on the design track, this is going to be the track where you're going to do more CAD work. It's computer-aided drafting design. You're going to do a lot more CAD work. You're going to take this raw data that you surveyed. You're going to put it into the computer. You're going to go in there, and you are going to manipulate it and work and design and make these great things and be prepared to go through the construction phase after we get it designed. Now, we're going to focus a lot on, uh, of course, the engineering maps but we're also gonna get into a little bit of architecture too. You're gonna to learn how to do residential design and commercial design in here. We're gonna do 3D scanning and bring that into drawings. And we're gonna get into a little bit of mechanical engineering too, and we're going to do a little bit of 3D printing. So it's a really cool program, and the whole thing is great. We have had such success with this program throughout the years. All of our students have done well. They start out about $15 to $18 an hour with full benefits, most places, depending on where you go. And um, right now, we're seeing a 9% increase in need for this field. So on average, with a couple years experience, nationally right now is $25 to $26 an hour for this field. So it's really great. And if you are interested in this, and this is a two-year program, it's Associate of Applied Science degree, and then we have some certificates embedded in that. But if you're interested in this, please contact me. You can contact me by email, or you can contact me by phone. And to do that, we could, if you want more information, I can send it to you. But if you also, if you would like to come and visit and take a tour, please contact me. We'll set that up because we want to try our best to get you on the right path to, for your career and for your success.